the next few days is to um, get a sense of a text called the Bhagavata Purana, which I would uh, which I would argue is along with the Ramayana probably um, one of the two most influential texts in um, the corpus of literature that we call Hinduism, um, just based on the the um, how the narratives of the Bhagavatam have influenced Indian culture in the form of poetry. I think you can quantify that in the form of architecture, in the form of the words of songs, uh, in, in dance forms. So really the themes that have really uh, pervaded the subcontinent over certainly a thousand years, probably two thousand years, in all the art forms uh, are these two great uh, epics. The Ramayana is an epic and the Bhagavatam in its own way is an epic. So. Um, so, so the text we're going to read is a Purana, and uh, there's a genre of, of literature called the Puranas. There's 18 Puranas. You've heard of the Upanishads and the Vedas and the Sutras, and there's different genres of writing in Sanskrit. So the Purana is a genre, type of writing, um, and it's really there that we get all the stories of the different divinities, these figures that you see here, Hanuman, Ganesh, Sarasvati, where do you find these stories? You don't find them in the Upanishads, you don't find them in the Vedas, you don't find it in the Bhagavad Gita. You find it in the genre of writing called the Puranas. And that's really um, wh where Bhakti um, is, is it's the sort of textual source for uh, this practice called Bhakti Yoga. So um, we're, we're going to be looking at the most famous of the Puranas, uh, the Bhagavata. And why do I say it's the most famous? Well, in addition to the, the fact that its narratives have pervaded Indian culture, which we can quantify, right? And go around and count, count how many statues of Krishna Leela, how many paintings in the Brooklyn Museum. You can actually quantify that if you wanted to. But also we could say that the Bhagavatam has uh, 81 commentaries. 81. And the next Purana has two. So I think it's fair to say that it's, uh, it's been by far the most... Um, popular of the Puranas. And it's in the Bhagavatam that we have the story of Krishna. And that's what makes it uh, so uh, extraordinary um, amongst the Puranas. The story of Rama is in the Ramayana. Rama has his own epic, the Ramayana, the Ayana, the journey of Rama. But where do we find the story of Krishna? It's not really in the Mahabharata. The Mahabharata is actually about the Pandavas. And Krishna is central, but he's, it's not about him. So the story of Krishna then we find in this text called the Bhagavata Purana, and it has uh, 12 books, and the 10th book is the book that makes it so famous, because the 10th book is the story of Krishna. <laughs> 